Hello everybody, welcome. Today we're gonna see how to export JSON data from your React app into an Excel sheet. So let's jump right onto it. So here I have a simple page which displays a bunch of data. Let me quickly show you how it's built. So I have a simple Excel, uh, export Excel JSX component here. What it does is on page load, it basically gets the data from a service. I have a service that mocks data and just gives us a bunch of JSON objects. And here, we just loop through the data and print it out. Okay, so now let's uh, see how we can export this data into an Excel sheet. Okay, first I'm gonna write a, um, a simple button that's gonna trigger an event. So let's write a row and we're gonna have a button. And this button is gonna say export and it's gonna have a click event on click. We're gonna call it handle on export. Let's write the definition for this function. It's a simple function, no parameters. Okay, so that's our export function. Let's console.log sheet data for now. And I'm gonna hide this one. Okay, so now let's refresh. And when I click on it, we get our data. So the data we have looks like this. It's a basically an object. Uh, it's an array of objects uh, with a couple of pro properties, color, ID, name, and price. So now let's see how we can export this. So here, we're gonna have to import XLSX. If you haven't installed it already, it's very simple. All you have to do is run npm install XLSX and it should install it for you. Let's hide this section. Okay, so once we come here, Okay, now let's uh, start exporting. So first, we're going to declare a workbook. It's going to be xlsx.utils.book underscore new. So that's one. The second one, we're going to need a sheet. We're going to say xlsx.utils.json uh, to sheet. So this function basically converts a JSON object into a sheet. So now let's... Uh, the data which is our sheet data okay and finally we're going to call xlsx.utils.book append sheet the first parameter is a workbook the second parameter is the worksheet the third parameter is the sheet name so let's call it uh, my file dot uh, no the sheet name is going to be sheet one Let's call it my sheet one. And then finally, we're gonna write write file. We're gonna the first one is the workbook, yes, and then our file name. So my Excel dot XLSX. Okay, now let's save. Let's refresh. Let's export. Let's save the file. Let's open it, and there we have it. We have our Excel sheet with the specified name, and also we have the correct tab name. Wonderful. Okay, now for a scenario, we exported data that's in JSON object form like this, but what if our objects are an array of arrays like this? So let's see how to do that. Here we have a second table I call this array sheet uh, we're gonna add an export button the same way we did to the previous sheet and we're gonna export the array of arrays into an Excel so let's go back to our code let's go to export Excel I'm just gonna copy the previous button we had let's copy the same button and I'm gonna add it right here Okay, let's remove this extra colon. 
Okay, on. Let's rename this to our export. So let's uh, actually duplicate this entire function and call this on array export. Let's save it. Okay. Oh, we actually have it there. Okay. Let's uh, cut this. Paste it here. Okay. That's cool. So. The only major difference we have to change is in this function is right here. So instead of JSON to sheet, we're gonna write AOA, array of arrays to sheet. Let's save, let's refresh, export. Okay, oh, we're passing the wrong data. Uh, sheet, array data. Okay, refresh, export save and let's open the file and there we go we have our data awesome thank you so much for watching please like share and subscribe if you have any questions please leave it in the comment section i'll get back to you as soon as possible take care